How's it going, this game match? We're back in Medieval Mod for 7 Days Died. And actually, a lot of you were mentioning here that inside, I didn't see the actual workbench. And I'm going to buy that right away. Bye-bye. I also have a whole lot of things to sell. So let's make some friends with him. I really don't care. I should have actually sold this first. I got a little cheaper prices. But it's okay. I might as well give him something, something. Uh, we don't really need any of this stuff here. I actually went through all my inventory. Uh, this ruined axe is pretty much, uh, yeah, ruined. Ruined. Got it. Ha! Ah, just chug it. That's all right. Let's go over here. Oh, it doesn't want a pitchfork. Bastard. Uh, all right. I guess I might have sold way too many of them. Uh, let's, let's get rid of that. You really don't want the pitchforks. Not a pitchfork kind of guy. That's fine. We also have our books over here, which I'll see whether or not I can actually... I already know these. Oh, bludgeon. Let's actually craft that baby up. And I should have that here. Let's see here. Iron Club, Barb Club, Reed. Thank you very much. Another one down. Again, we've been collecting these uh, all the way through here. I think this one we're going to know by heart. Pretty sure. Hopefully. There we go. We can sell this off too. It's not a big deal. How much should we get for that? 68 bucks. Not the greatest, but it's something. It's something. You sure you don't want this, man? It's a limited edition. I only killed four people with it. Damn it. It's a little bit of hair on it. You don't have to get a little pissy and all that. That's all good. All right, we're going to make our way back, and we're going to jump off uh, what we don't need, and we'll jump off a crate we have there in a the corner. It's nice to have the actual vendor right near us. Uh, very, very nice. We also have a well near us, which doesn't really work from top view. With a, somehow, honestly, like I mentioned to you guys, I drop water on the ground and pick it back up. Make my life a whole lot easier. Everybody looks like they're a little bit uh, pissed off. We also have our new bow here, which is uh, luminant, well, luminescent, a flashlight-style bow. I don't know. Very magical in here. How y'all doing? Everybody's good. Everybody in good shape. Everybody like a little pitchfork in the head? No? It's okay. I mean, if you don't want it, it's fine. I'm not, uh... Okay, you do. Oh, uh, you're all gonna... You wait for me to come in, you little bastards. You bastards. You waited for me to walk in. Maybe Dolores was a little bit stuck there. Was that your wife? I'm sorry about that. Oh, no, no, no. It's not running away. I saw you conspiring that shit, man. Well, you're really, like, cheery, aren't you, buddy? Oh, wait, wait, okay, I thought I was going to get you just an angle. There we go, Alex. What do you have in here? Nothing, Alex. You're a waste of time. Yes, a lot of people are saying, well, you're pillaging everything. I am. You know, part of the game is really that to start off with, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, I don't know. Right now it is. feels like it. we have to pillage as much as we possibly can. There we go. Raymond had something on me. Uh, looks like it's great. Everybody's uh, taken care of. Uh, we'll take up and see what Olivia had on her. Some coins. And the Shane who started all this big mess has nothing on him. What's a Shane? Shane and Raymond. Okay. So Shane was a big problem in this whole event. We were fine until Shane started losing his shit. That's all. That's all. All right. Wow, this is super bright. Holy crap. Like, I mean, that is super... Oh, shit. Oh, there's a lot of you. All right, we'll use our maze. I love the maze. The maze is a lot of... Oh. Yeah, they're just very unhappy people. Very unhappy that I was living on top of the church. I think they've been wanting to kill me since the beginning. Yeah, you're, you're dead too. I'm sorry, man. Sorry, Alanis. I am apologetic a little bit because I feel bad I have to kill every one of you. Part of life for you guys, at least. Think we'll have to respawn. All right, well, we have an alchemy uh, inside of here, so we can actually maybe utilize that. Some of you are saying I should use a cave down. Well, the caves are the dungeons below as a place for us to kind of deal with... Uh, well, build your base, really. Oh, man, these rocks are so bright. I do like this light, though. It's just... Oh, man, it could be bright. It could be really, really bright. I'll grab you. I'll grab you. Since we're sort of close to our base, there's nothing on top. Okay, up here. Some people are saying, actually, there's more barrel tables. Somebody actually mentioned that in the thing that they should build these things instead of building crates. We're going to have to start looking at... Did I get everything down below here? I think there might be another room down here, no? I knew it. Pillage enough of these churches. There's also a dungeon room below. Now, it doesn't really work like for other kind of games, well, other mods or the actual game itself. We actually have to do quality Joe and stuff to move yourself up. This one pretty much does it for you. We're going to take these for burning afterwards. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. We're going to be doing the top floor for us, at least. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take an axe to this. There we go. So these people can't get up. 
There we go. Nice. Hopefully it's not holding the whole building together. I've had those times before. You destroy something and all of a sudden it's boom. There we go. Nice. Let's put this like this for now. Temporarily. Closing them off. We have to go downstairs anyways, but we can go back around if we had to. Alright. Well, I've taken care of people here. So we're not going to have to worry about them too much. Get rid of the bodies, that's for sure. Cat doesn't bother me. They can keep me here if we want to. We can open this up now, finally. Now, I'm going to keep the structural areas open. There we go. Come on, one more time. Come on. There we go. Yeah, so structurally, there's these ones here, like near here. I'm going to keep all these uh, together. Uh, I don't know which one of these is going to take it down, but these big beams and all that stuff, I'm pretty sure, are extremely important to keep this building together. And we're going to do so. But now we can actually have a room. We can actually you know, lock up and start putting in our tables and stuff. And that's really what I wanted the most. I want to have the ability. We have all the storage too, man. It's already here. Some of this is not best storage ever, but it's some storage. We can utilize them. Bookshelf one. I might, these bookshelves might be a little more important, but I don't think they were touching anything. It's that important. All right. There we go. One more time. Break you open. Sweet. Night stand. All right. Give me the bucket. Nice. More books. Some of this crappy, anyways. It's okay. I'm sure there's value to everything in life. It's, it's uh, everything's important. I do love these stands here. These are friggin' awesome. Definitely gonna make it great for us a place. I think I'll place our table right here, actually, just for uh, shits and giggles to make it really, really cool. Let's get rid of this. All right, so we're back here, and we're gonna place on a table over here. Of course, we're gonna need this. Uh, Really, really quick. We're going to need to take care of that. Uh, I don't have any wood on me to actually ooh, make this a little bit stronger. We're going to try to make everything just a little bit better. Now, all the wood we picked and collecting and everything else, uh, we've done pretty good. 4,000. We've got more than enough stuff to get at least rolling. So we're going to try to bring all these up. And, of course, we don't carry any kind of scrap. I'm going to be able to at least do this without having to worry over upgrading. There we go. Very, very cool. Now, very, very important for a game. It's at least done to make sure the flooring is uh, secure. Also, make sure the pillars are all done downstairs. Bring. Bring. It's because I'm holding it down. That's the reason why it's meant. Yeah, this is a carpet. So, again, I love this lighting. I'm not going to get rid of it because I do love it. I mean, this is so freaking cool. I love these torches. I don't know if they carry any kind of heat. It's going to draw them in. I don't think it does. It doesn't seem to do any kind of difference uh, in this mod. So I'm not too sure. We're just going to make sure this is all put in proper, nice and upgraded. Taking a right-click, of course, on the hammer. In case you're wondering. I know most of you know that. But no. Maybe it's new. You may be new to the game and wondering how the hell you're doing it. I didn't really want to do that, but that's okay. We'll just make sure it's shuttered. We don't want people, neighbors, to look into what we're doing, right? Well, sometimes they're little nosy neighbors. You don't want them around. Nice, nice. All right. Nice and secure. Secure this area too. We want this to be prim proper too. Uh, we'll probably put some. Well, we'll be able to do a lot more work on this afterwards. But right now we're just gonna upgrade all the suckers so we can have have somewhere to place this down with any issues. All right, let's place this down here. And what we're gonna do right click here. Oh, can it fit in a little further? I don't think it can because of course that. But it's okay. Here's fine. That's fine. So actually, you know, we can actually do a lot more stuff, including wooden ladders, which I really do like. Uh, we'll get some of those made and make a whole bunch of them. Let's make a 20 because we'll probably end up using some of these. And we'll be able to make our brace and stuff afterwards. So I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. Uh, beer table. What's that? A beer stand? What's that thing called again? So I mentioned it there. I just, I keep on forgetting what it's called. Beer table or cake table? I don't even remember what the hell it's called actually right now. Where is it? Barrel table. Barrel! All right, let's see if we can do it here. Okay, we have to do it in the actual table here. So we need a metal strip. So that's going to cost a little more. So, yeah, okay. They, they mentioned they didn't mention the metal strips issue, but we're going to have to wait for Forge for that. That's okay. That's okay. We, we'll be able to do that. So we're going to... This is another reason why I'm going to be uh, making ladders and stuff. We'll be able to come in and out of here, too, without any kind of issues if we need to. Which is part of the actual... Uh, what we want to do. We want to get ourselves 
all cooled out here, in and out, make a cool base. But for now, we can't make that, so we're gonna worry about that afterwards. All right, so I'm gonna place this stuff away. What do I have here? Wash bucket. I don't even know why I took that. I just took it because I can take it. This is a, this is all like full of junk. I do have like metal strips, right? How many do I have? One, one metal strip. Not enough. Not enough. Okay, place that back. And right over here, we're gonna take down the axe and place it over here, and we're gonna make our way through the rest of the building. We're gonna go down below and check out the actual dungeon. I think that's what it's called, like the dungeon itself. You can't get up now because I took away one step. And you better run. And the, oh, okay, not block yourself out now. Don't want people look at you like you're an idiot. Yep, yeah, it's okay. Here's a nice little area. You can get a whole bunch of beer barrels if you want, whatever. Tons of beer. It's all good, it's all good. All right, you open this up and then you press this. Press E, you don't have to destroy it. I was destroying it before and everybody was like, no, don't destroy it. It's just press E, it's like a special little door. I was like, oh, that's pretty darn cool. It feels very spooky, very spooky. We got some, uh, of course, some AI downstairs. Usually, we do. And of course, these torches, oh shit. Are you a cool man? Are we, uh, are we cool? It's so dark without a look. Oh my god, it hurts my eyes if I don't. Okay. Alright, so there's nothing here. The only place I've ever found anything is at the end. So I, I'm just checking because in case something new happens. So I'm not killing that guy. He's, he's, he's not being killed, right? There's no reason to get pissed off at him. He's not doing anything bad to us. Oh, I love those doors. Bum, 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 bum. I'm just checking out to make sure there's nothing else around. Nothing. Let's just say one of the kind of twines. So, treasure chest on the left hand side. There it is. Look at that. $3,000 and some crystal shards, which we need for. Thank you for that cool noise. Uh, great job for your security, sir. I must say you've done an awesome job. Keep it up. I, I do like this area quite a bit. It's very, very cool. Well, I might have to come back down here. Maybe even create a base below. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Can I close this back up? Is that like something that happens or is this gone now? That's a one-time deal, isn't it? Oh, no, there it is. Holy moly. That is so freaking cool. The hidden door. I love it. I love it. Man, here I'm destroying it all. And it, just look how beautiful it is. Hey, how you doing? Anybody uh, pissed off? No? Okay, don't, uh, don't look on the ground there. Maybe a little bit of a mess. Oh, I'll just clean this shit up. Wow, I can't see anything without this light. Holy crap. It's really dark in here. We're gonna put some candles. All right. Let's get outside. I don't think we got anything else but cash there, so that's okay. We Cash is good. Cash is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Some barrels. We got some of you. Crystal shards. That's definitely a must. So maybe we'll start making the ladder thing here before I go, so that way it's easier for us to kind of get around. Maybe make a hatch too. Okay, so we finished that. I actually built this for now, and it's going to be fixed up a little better than this. But for now, we actually built ourselves a little ramp, able to get in and out with the ladder. Nice and simple design, really. We've done it over and over again. Uh, just build all these things here together, and then uh, I don't know why I have these wood frames here. Should be holding pretty good everything else. There you go. She's all nice. So make sure you, of course, avoid that once ladder on the bomb so that you don't can't hop up. It's not the highest one I've ever built, but it works. It does the job. It's going to do just great. Now we have a choice. We can actually do this or carry the torch. I think, that, honestly, the uh, this thing is a lot brighter, a lot nicer. Two different brightnesses. Actually, about the same. About the same. Uh, we do need to loot some more. And again, the developers have mentioned that, it, yes, there is uh, something you need to do. Loot uh, like crazy at the beginning. Yes, even people here, of course, unfortunately, you know, you have to take over the town. That's going to be part of the gig when you first move in here. You know, you just got, you're out of prison. You have to take care of some stuff. There you go. Hi, right, Kai, how you doing? Good? Good, good. Um... I'm just here to check and say, house. you have a problem with that? You guys are holding hands? Oh, All right. Well, everything's okay. I mean, just let me walk in. Oh, your wife just did it. She ruined it all for you. Charlotte? Yeah. This is your chance, man. If you didn't want her around anymore, you're, you're good to go. Uh -huh. I, I see. It was your mom. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I guess she held you pretty close to her. Uh, yeah, she, she made the wrong choice. <laughs> 
<laughs> I felt so bad. She's dead. All right, hopefully there's something inside here. Oh, a torch again. There you go. Perfect. Very nice. Uh, sorry about that, Charlotte. Next time if someone asks you to, uh, you know, let me in, especially a guy like me, you might want to let me in. Just saying. Okay, we need to chuck up a piece. I need to put a frame out here. Sorry about that. There we go. We're all good to go. Let's uh, move this back in here and put a frame down here. She is completed. And we're going to grab the actual fire. Like that. Like so. And we've done this house. Now it's good. We can actually close the door if we want to. It's a choice. Some people said take off the doors. The monsters sometimes come in and break doors. And you might not realize you've actually gone through it. So, yeah, it's possible. These ones here, I don't think I've been through it. Did they put new designs since we last we left? Look at the amount of wood in here. Holy crap. It sounds crazy, I know. It's just that uh, it's wood. <laughs> it's very important for everything we're going to do and build. And since we actually have the axe on us, we will also make sure we grab all of this. And this is a lot easier to kind of show you. Grab a stack of these things. It would be cool if we actually use one of those uh, carts right here and bring it with us. Cool if we can just fill it all up to bring you right know that's not available. Always hope. All right. It is nighttime, so we're gonna have to kind of be uh, put a light out here. Are we put any kind of furniture in here yet? Is this the same one? I think we've been through this one before. I thought it was one without the actual furniture. He doesn't seem to really care about us walking here at all. Whatever. It's all good. We're going to add a little bit of light to this place. And of course, he's got himself some good chairs. We need those really quick to make sure we're nice and safe. Uh, the candles, too. We'll take all of them. I am getting more lighting for that building that we're just walking into. So we're just taking over that church. And it's, it's pretty dark. So lighting is becoming a little bit important. Why not just grab whatever we can of these suckers? All right, that's good, that's good. All right, wash bucket, I think you could keep that, that's okay. We've got empty chests and uh, empty nightstands here, that's great, we'll take care of that. Let's go upstairs a little higher. Oh yeah, we can't cut this. Do we have anything interesting there at all? I don't even see it here, uh, crude knife. For 30 bucks, we can sell it if we want to. I feel bad taking all our candles for them, but I mean, what do you want to do? They have no choice, we gotta take care of ourselves too. What the hell that was a bone? Yeah, I think it's femurs. I think they're keeping like bones. Uh, uh, that's pretty freaking sick shit, man. Just when you thought you were crazy and sick, that's they 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 win, they win on that one. All right, we're good. Everything else is good here. We took taken everything from here. Oh, we can take our torch back. They're not free. We're not exchanging that for a torch again. Torch bulls. You can bring in screamers. I don't know if the screamers are in this game yet. We did see them, but I don't know if that's an uh, effect with the actual heat or not. Or just randomly to come in. I right, get some more cloth. Very nice. We're not far away from our base, thankfully. A lot of this is junk. This is a pretty good building. This is a pretty cool building. All right, we'll place this down here. Again, another one bites of dust. Hoo hoo ah! All right. Across the street too. Man, we got loot, loot, loot. That's what we have to do. Loot, loot, and loot. It's so damn important in this game. Push this mod. This mod is all about looting. And after that, dealing with all those massive amount of creatures and stuff. She seems to be okay. Like I told you, I'm not going to kill if I need to. I mean, I just, I mean, only if I need to. So I'm not going to kill if I don't uh, have to. She's coming. See, look at that. Unprovoked. Now you're on fire. Huh? Now you're on fire. Oh, you little shit. Yeah. Wasn't so quick for your wife, though. Surely. Can't seem to... There you go. He had nothing on him. Loser. Damn it. He's tougher than he used to be. Holy shit. Holy crap, 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 crap. He really is hurting me. Alright. Um... Nice move there, just jumping up on that. There you go, Simon. Have a good day, Simon. Just want to waste an arrow on you. See, I came in, I didn't fight them, and they'll come and fight you, so... What do you want here, right? 
What do you want to do? I wish we could find a sword with this ability. It'd be a lot easier to hang to sit around and uh, just flip over from the actual bow. Hopefully there is a sword with this actual ability. Grab you. Blueberries. Nothing much. Like a little pantry. It doesn't look like there's anything else back there. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, well, this wasn't really worth all you guys dying, was it? No, it wasn't. It really wasn't. All right. Are we ready? I'll put a one out here in case we need to fight. There we go. Tells everybody that I'm about to enter this area and uh, not to bother me. Oh, someone might be sleeping. Hey, how you doing, sir? Just checking to see if there's anything needed. Yeah, just continue staring at the wall, pretending I'm not there. That works best, actually. Yeah, people do survive from that. All right, well, you want to spread the word on how you... Uh, you must have hidden some shit, though. I guarantee you hid some shit, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, spread the word. You did an excellent job. He, he, he reacted well. That's why you have to react, right there. See? No deaths. No harm, no foul. We're all good. Oh, some eggs. All right, so we're back. What we're going to do, we're going to be starting creating up some stuff. We're going to well, we desperately need also. We're going to get some candles, which we're going to start placing around the actual location here. Because it's getting kind of dark. It's getting kind of dark. I want to make other kind of things. But for now, the candles are going to be the thing we're going to place. Because we don't have very much time to do some stuff. I want to get a tiny rack done. I want to get a couple of things completed. So we're just going to light this baby up here. Just a tiny bit more than we actually have. Just because it's it's annoying. It really is annoying. We'll put them a little higher. That just doesn't make any sense to be so low. If we can, this one won't be able to be too low. That's okay. That's okay. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's put uh, you and you up here. Oh, look at that. That's actually even better. There we go. I like that. Even better. Perfect. And, uh, what else do I have here? Candles. I have one more candle here. That's perfect. Boom. Boom, boom. The more the mirror, the more light we have, the better it's going to be. Now, okay. That being said, we can actually build ourselves a tiny rack. I'm going to show you guys. It's actually inventory here. You need to do a tiny rack here. You're going to craft that baby up. It just takes wood. Fan for fantastic. We're gonna place tiny racks on this side. Uh, well, actually, maybe doing more stuff there. We're gonna place tiny racks right here. Uh, nothing too big. Yeah, it's fine. Tiny rack, great. Now I'm not sure what we have to do. With tiny rack, do we need to? Does this give me the option? I can't press E. What the hell? This just gives me now the option to actually do this recipes now. It's just paintbrush. All right, do I have to hold this? Is that something? Oh, you actually put it on. Oh, well, damn, damn, damn. That is pretty cool. So that's, oh, wow, it's going to take some serious amount of tanning racks. Oh, <laughs> that's so realistic. All right, let's do it some more. I like that. Uh, tanning racks. There we go. Let's get, uh, let's get at least four of these. So let's get three more of these completed. And here we go. I'll just take this over here. And I guess we'll put him in this room here. Is that a big deal? It's not a big deal. We can actually put some... Some stuff in here if you want to. Some candles to make it look somewhat nicer. Torches, again, I don't know if they do bring in screamers or not, so I'm just trying to avoid them uh, profusely. I don't know if these are going to do a great job or not. They don't seem to be too bright. Probably the shittiest of all the candles complete. Uh, just, just do this for now. That's fine. Let's just place this. Another one there. And... We could break all this out here if you want to, but I want to see how. We'll just put them here. That's fine. We, we're not going to be doing very much in this area. We can sort them out afterwards. Can I pick them back up? I can't. All right, it's all good. Just going to place a couple of these in here. So left click, left click. If it's dark, I'm sorry. It's really, uh, it, it's, it's part of the game, unfortunately. <laughs> it's part of the game. Yeah, that's cool. We got that done. We also need to make some bellows. And uh, bellows itself, I think it's only in here. What do we have here? We need paper. All right, let's get some paper. Collecting those in those books and everywhere else inside we can find. So that's been great. Uh, let's craft that up and then a forge. What do we need for forge except for just bellows? Forge? Does it give you the opportunity or how the hell are we going to make this now? Banner Griffin. Oh, no, nice. Very, very nice. All right, I don't even know where the forge is. The forge in my inventory here? Ooh, oops. Forge. I don't see it. 
Ha! Huh. I don't see it here either at all. Alchemy bench we made. That's fine. We can probably make one of those. We have a cauldron and everything else. We're going to have to get done. There we go. Furnace. Oh, that's in a furnace. That's what it is. All right. So we've got one bellows being made in here. We can grab that. I thought I wasn't going crazy. What else are we going to need for that? Furnace? You see, I, I was looking for four. It's just furnace. Furnace is off here. So we need one and we need clay. So we have tons of clay. We've got everything else. So, yeah, that's all we need. That's all we need. 13 seconds away from build to build that. Uh, we can also, inside there, we're probably going to need... Oop. I think we need the hammer for that, right? I'm not building hammer. There's another kind of hammer. There it is. The anvil. Is that on there or is it on the actual... Oh, I think it's for the other thing. Yes, it is. I'm talking a lot of different things in my head. Now, what I'm talking about is that this actually, I think, for the actual anvil itself that we have to get made. Uh, where is he? Alchemy bench. So we need a campfire. So we're going to get some rocks for that. Make a campfire. Craft you up. Campfire, paper. We got everything else. We just need bowls. And we have bowls. Just need one bowl. I know we have that. That's without a doubt. We have good. Got everything else. Let's do it. Let's craft this alchemy bench up and rolling too. Sweet. And they're going to do a furnace. Grab you. Thank you. Boom. Yes, I know we need to get it done. Furnace that baby up. And we'll get a couple of medieval chests going because we don't have the strips for the other stuff. So let's make a... Let's make about four more of these. Give me a good idea. So we got ourselves a couple of seconds. It's going to be about a minute. Once it's all complete, we're going to drop out the alchemy bench. We're going to make ourselves... Some, well, alchemy bench could be right near these things because it look freaking cool. I wonder right here. I think that's where we're going to put it in. Yeah, let's put the bench right here. Like that. It would be cool if that one could be right here, but we'll try to build ourselves one afterwards. But great. Uh, we're going to need the mortar pestle, which we have. Like so. Do we use it? Yes, we do. I love when we keep the stuff, the right stuff. The stuff we actually need. <laughs> it works out so well. Alright, uh, let's go and get this done. Where is it? It's more a pesto. We're still going to need to find this. Uh, this is actually one of the jewels. I did find one before, so that's pretty okay. Uh, we got a lot more done than we expected in that. That's good. Cauldron and stuff we're going to need for right now. Maybe some other things we're going to be building with it. Uh, I'm going to have to wait for that. And I think the only thing left is the actual forge itself. 24 seconds left. We're rolling on this. Now, I'm not sure how long this takes to... To get done, is it when it's ready, do you press E and it's ready to go? I am curious as heck. That is a very, very cool aspect of the game. I like how much different this is. It actually adds different aspects. This is not just a mod. This is a full build mod. Very, very crazy. I'm uh, looking here also at the actual quests, and that's what I was trying to get done at workstations itself. Gather token. Gather token. Forging. What's a token mean? I think someone was mentioned that before. We need tokens or something. We're also going to make some smelting iron. Also, we're going to have to start getting ourselves going. Okay, so we're going to have to get a whole lot of stuff done. All right, we're going to grab this. We have 800 raw iron. We're going to keep that. We're going to put the forge. I think best will make it a little more realistic on putting the outside, right? It'd be crazy not to. Put the forge right here. I know how big she was. But she's not that big. Nice. Beautiful. And we got chairs for that. Let's get some chairs. Uh, we use the wood stools, actually. Should be a little bit less of a burn, but how much time does that give me? 26 minutes. Awesome. Split this. Turn this baby on. Now it's going to get going. That ass. And here. I want to put one of them down here on this side. Okay, so a chest for this one. A chest here. And maybe a chest. Oh, look at how this hugs right on top of this. That's not so bad, actually. Oh, nice. So you can put the two chests right in front of that sucker. It would be actually better if I actually rotate them, but it's okay. And just open and close and actually jump off the crystal dust and stuff that we're going to have to get done for this. This is wicked. Anything else we can actually build here? we got banners and stuff. That would be really nice. Banner green. Just for shits and giggles, I want to see what it looks like. Uh, red? Yeah, I want red. Craft one of these suckers up. Wow. Well, it's cloth. We have tons of cloth. More than enough for five seconds. Just want to see what the actual look of this is. 
that we can actually place these down. That's a nice little add-on to the actual game. The hell are you hooking on underneath, I guess? Oh, break a leg. Wow, I didn't break a leg. Holy crap. That's 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 remarkable actually. So I guess you could put it right here like this. Of course, on a much higher, but I was trying to see what it looks like. Does it move when you go past? No, it doesn't. It'd be cool. Every morning the roosters just like to scare the shit out of me. And every morning you hear that uh, uh, all over the place. And it's scary because it sounds like someone coming at you. I don't know if you've, you've ever recognized that. It is pretty darn crazy. All right, we got our forge going. She's doing pretty good. We need to get some actual stuff out of this too, which is ready to smelt it iron. But for that, how much do we need? need clay also? So we have to split this off and get some clay in here. Let's get a thousand clay going. And to get that, of course, we're going to need both these to get rolling. So this looks all completely different, yes. And uh, we're going to have to get a whole bunch of this for the actual... Uh, for the actual quest, if I'm mistaken. So we can get the anvil. Now, the anvil, I think, is in here. You can actually make one. And yeah, it's a craft. We're just missing a couple of things, and we can craft that. Hey, baby, yep, let's go. Anvil. All right, here comes the anvil. Bam. I wasn't sure if I had to stand here to watch it. Oh, it was. There we go. We got some bonus for that, baby. We got a pulley. We got some forged iron. It's a good thing I stayed behind. Let me wave that. And where's the anvil? Could it drop anywhere? Does it go down here? I don't, I don't see it. Or by the fire, I get it, but uh, why is that showing up like that? Alright, I couldn't see it. So it's okay if it's on the side. It's fine. Uh, the anvil hammer. There she is. Beauty. You're in there. And now we can make a bunch of whole different blades and stuff. We're going to need the books to complete these things. You can make them. We can make metal strips also. We want from forged. Wow, well, from forged iron. Uh, which means I need we need a press, right? Do we need a press for this? Ingot press. Need forge. Okay, we got that. Some rope. I think that's the only thing we don't have. And that's because we don't have a wrench. Now, can we make a wrench? Is that something or do I just have to destroy the actual carts now? Before I wasn't sure if there's a wrench or not. Is there a wrench in this game? And probably not in here. Is there a wrench in here? I don't think there would be. It never would be. Okay, let's go and check this out. Wrench. So it is available. We need metal strips. We need 60 metal strips to make that happen. All right. And how much do I have? I have four more ingots. Damn. Okay, so metal strips. How much do I get for this each bunch of this? Let's craft one. Let's see. We get two back for each one. And I have how many metal strips? I think I have one metal strip, right? Total. Okay, well, we need to make to get some, so I don't have no choice in a matter. I don't think we're going to have a choice to actually make what's needed to, to do this. I need a wrench big time. And I'm not getting enough, so yeah, let's make this happen. Okay, so we're back. I was trying to get this all completely. I realized I need the ingot press, and unfortunately, we're going to run out because we need to make the hammerhead, which takes some more of the actual forged iron. Sadly enough, we won't have enough. We will have enough to actually make what we need for, um, yeah, for the wrench itself. We're going to take advantage of that and go around and start wrenching up some stuff and see what we can get for it. Uh, we know a choice. No choice. Um, before I do that, though, we're going to do is skills and see what we can do for tools. No, where is it? Tools, yes. Right here. Toolsmithing itself. We're going to move that up because we're going to be needing a good tool. Beautiful. <laughs> Pretty solid concrete metal concrete uh, construction to have structural integrity requiring fewer support pillars. Interesting. Uh, first, I'm going to need a wrench beef before getting anything. Uh, we start getting making more stuff like this. We need 15 of these and we can't craft this. I can't believe this. Necessary. What is it? We need. Don't have the necessary resources to craft this. I'm pretty sure we need 16. You son of a beeswax. You had to go with 16, didn't you? All right, we can make another one. It's okay. I'll take this. And we'll make one more of you. And one, of course, gives two, so we'll always have more. That's fine. I'll just have one more in a few seconds. This, we needed 40 of these. We're almost done. And another four of those. And then we have what it takes. We just make that press. It'd be freaking awesome. But I need that wrench. And there we go. So 12 seconds for the wrench to pop out. 
Again, the wrench itself uh, should be able to give us what we need to go out there and start taking apart some of the wagons and doors and the farms, which is what we need the most of right now. Yeah, that's going to be something. We're going to be dropping off all this stuff over there. Beautiful. It's not the best wrench on the face of planet, but it's better than none. And I was starting to get worried there wasn't any because I didn't find any anywhere, which is very, very odd. How long does it take the town? Is this done yet? This is not done. Oh, hopefully soon. All right, for now, this is done. And the only thing we're missing now is that ingot press. And of course, ingot press, I'm going to need... Ingot press itself. We're going to need forged iron, which is crazy. We have pulleys already. We have rope. We just need the forged iron. Oh, the fun parts. Drop, 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 drop. And we should be okay with the rest of the stuff on this pitchfork and stuff. Let's go down here and take a couple of these carts apart, too. Uh, we're going to need the rope for some stuff. And at the same time, we'll go and double check to see if anybody's selling any. I don't think he was. I didn't check it for it, but uh, it's okay. At least we could take apart this. And there's also a farm around here somewhere, I remember. Oh, there we go. Springs, and I didn't see it. So the ropes are pretty much only the doors, but we get to springs for these. That's okay. That's okay. Now, he had nothing, right? That was valuable. I'll take the wood, though. Just double check. Maybe I screwed up and he had something else to sell. Did you have anything else to sell, man? Nothing that I... No, you have nothing else that would be helpful. All right. Well, I just want to make sure before I go in the round and destroy people's houses and stuff, plus all these wonderful carts will be no longer available around here. You find them all over the map. It's not a big deal. Oh, hit marker is... Where is it? In the middle, eh? That's it, though. All right. I'm pretty sure this is one of the farmhouses that we were in before. I'm exhausted. It's a time I wrench just uh, completely journeys. So we're, I've been walking here, so I didn't bore you guys to make me watch that. There's another church right there. That's ours. Can't have a dual church. Just can't have that. What was that? Two, three. Something just popped up there. I think we finished something. Uh, these are doors. Do we want pulling ropes? Nice. Okay, we're getting some forge of that. Got 11. Holy moly. We got anything out of this sucker here. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrench the living crap out of everything you know. Oh, we did get it. Grid grindstone. That solves that problem. I'll pick up the mushrooms while we're here. Do I get anything from these? Oh, I get springs too. Very nice. I thought we hit this place. We didn't hit this place. Okay, I'm going in here nice and slowly and not thinking about anything. But this, I thought that we, we did everything, but we did not. We did not. There's no horse or anything in here either. It's too bad. It's too bad. Oh, okay. A little chitoir. Someone passed away here. Very nice. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. I don't know if you're running away from me or running at me. I, I'm not too sure, so I didn't appreciate that. Something you never want to do. Okay. Well, I don't think we should cook. It's kind of dangerous for fires. You know, just saying. I'll grab all the clay from here. Make my job a lot easier. Thank you. I'm gonna wrench the living shit out of your places, guys. Absolutely. Good. Was he protecting some kind of treasure? I don't know about. Because he seemed like he was really into not letting us go into his room. Maybe his porn stash. Oh, an anvil and stuff, right? That's pretty good. Uh, cloth itself, we're not gonna need. I am kind of hungry, so I will take his boiled egg. That's fine with me. Cloth boots, that's just crap. Uh, I'm not even bothering with that. That's okay. Too far away from a vendor to worry about that. Water skin. Empty. I did grab it. There we go. Oh! First aid bandage. Bleeding and restores some health. It looks completely different. Is that a new update to it? I don't know. Looks like it. Empty stand, empty stand. Alright. Oops, sorry for stepping. Sorry. Oh, bingo. We have what it needs. All right, we have it. We have it. We have it. Okay, so we're back, and it should be completed. And there we go. That should be pretty much done. As soon as I open it up, we should be done, done, done. Here we go. Here's this one I can see. Just make it look like I can actually use it. There we go. Nice. There we go. We finalized it. Done. I can actually be able to make forwards, uh, iron, and metal strips, I guess. That's, that's interesting. Another way of making it without actually making it through forge, I guess we make it through smelted iron. 
Uh, token right here, forging. Again, we need all these tokens, I guess, to complete things. So we'll have to get these and complete these. Very interesting. All right, we'll keep all those in a safekeeping for now. And uh, I'll put them in here. Safe, safekeeping. And this way we won't lose them. So it's very, very cool. I think we did a pretty good job today. We actually built up a whole bunch of different stations. I am very proud of it. I think it just turned out pretty darn cool. So again, thank you so much for being here. If you guys like this series and want to see a whole lot more of it, make sure you hit the like button. This is Game Edge, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.